Hi guys, how is everyone doing? Good, good or great? Good. Okay, so the topic is what the F moments? Do you react or do you respond? Because if I can share a bit about reacting and responding while they set up the technical part, <coughs> yeah, uh, a lot of times when we are in a F up moment, right? We're like, um, you just react and then you become depressed and then you don't take action. You just moan about it and then you don't move forward. So there's a choice between reacting or responding and then executing. You know what I mean? Yeah, so slides please. Okay, basically, my name is Zai Mystic. Um, but I'm Zai Ma Zaiton Majid, but it's Zai Mystic on social media and what have you not. So, um, yeah, I'm a coach, author, speaker. Oh, there's so many slides. Good. Where do I stand? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So, I'm a coach, author, speaker. Uh, basically, I help people renew your aspirations. Uh, I help people turn your dreams into reality with confidence and clarity. Because if you just turn dreams into reality without confidence and clarity, you move two steps forward, ten steps back. True? Yes? Okay, cool. So uh, I also found a sisterhood mentorship program. I'm not a feminist, just that I feel that when women are happier, we have a happier household, a happier community, a happier world. True, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. So I started out... Um, my first business was Mystic Art uh, since 2001, whereby I do henna and body art. I took it to Japan, I'm going to be sharing with you. A uh, two weeks trip became a six month stay, it was super fun. And then after that, something happened, I couldn't go out to work. So, you guys know the story, coming out. I started Mystic Shopee and then a Mystic Print. So, and then I was learning Arabic, I was um, in Jordan, Morocco, Yemen for two years. And I, start, uh, I came back, created a program called Read, Write, Speak Arabic. Not aerobics, eh? Arabic. <laughs> Arabic, the language, eh? Okay, and then eventually, as you can see, I don't collect boyfriends, I collect brands. <laughs> and boyfriends. Okay, anyway, uh, <laughs> eventually, two years ago, what happened was I started a Mystic Academy under the wing of Mystic International because I could do my henna art I could sell things online, I could teach the language, I was happy. And then I had a call from a random person on my Facebook and she went like, can I speak to you for like 10 minutes or so? I'm like, okay, give me a call. And I called her. And what happened was she spoke to me, just before we hung up, she said, thank you for speaking to me because I was just thinking of committing suicide. I feel better now. So I'm like, dude, what do I do now? <gasps> There is something that I need to do, right? Okay. So that was the story of Japan. So just after I, uh, I didn't quit school, I'm not like a school dropout or something. I finished school, but I was a model. I was doing makeup. I was a makeup artist. Um, I, I was introduced to henna art, and I took henna art into Japan. Super fun. Two weeks trip became a stay, and then my favorite student, and then my Japanese students are living in Japan by turning my passion into profits. That is one of the things I did. I was so excited. I wanted to set up a henna school in Japan. I was interviewed by Tokyo FM, uh, the magazines, the radio. It was just so fun. It was like, as though I own Japan, you know what I mean? And I was only 20 then. It was so fun. And, um, and then I wanted to set up a henna school. I came back to Singapore. Uh, there was, of course, when you become foreign talent, <laughs> then they recognize you, right? So uh, George Young came to my house, the, uh, we did an interview, this was in Tokyo FM, uh, radio, you know, magazines, TV, suddenly you become a FT lah, foreign talent lah, alright, okay, so that happened, and everything was good, I had like bookings for corporate events, for bridal henna, for classes, two years in advance, but in 22 April, 2005, I was in a I shouldn't sound so happy, right? Yeah, I met with an accident. Mm, fractured, dislocated my spine. Uh, doctors said I cannot walk anymore. Before, yeah, this is a miracle. I deserve a clap, right? <laughs> and what's up? Thank you. So what happened was I fractured, dislocated my spine. Doctor said you cannot walk anymore. Even if after the operation, the chances of you walking again is... 5%, that's it. 
So this is a living miracle and miracles happen. This was, I could react to this and feel like a victim for life. But of course it didn't, was not automatic. I'm not like superwoman. No? A year into the game, into, a year into the accident, my one year anniversary, I asked myself, um, do I want to be a victim for life or do I want to come out victorious? What is my purpose of being? Why didn't I just die in the accident? That got me thinking. So I travelled, that was when I travelled, I went to London, Cyprus, Syria. I was not wearing the hijab before. Um, the accident didn't inspire me to look for spirituality or God because there was huge ego, right? Like, you are God, you are awesome, but no. But anyways, I started wearing the hijab. It was a journey as well, a big challenge. And I was in London, Cyprus, Syria. I found a hijab fashion. That was nine years ago, before FB turned into Pasar Malam now. Now everybody sells everything on Facebook, right? So that was nine years ago, Pioneer Batch, selling stuff online, made three to five K working from home. I uh, couldn't go out to work, so I brought my, my business home and it was awesome, good one. But anyways, just after the accident, I had a broken spine. I was jobless. All my savings were depleting, right? Because I had to go for doctor's appointment, physiotherapy, medicine. I had to get like fixtures in the house to feel comfortable. And after 10 months of the accident, I only had 10 USD to my name. Fuck up, right? <laughs> and if the above was you, was you, what would you have done? Something to think about. Would you react to a situation or respond? Actually, I already told you all the answers. Lah. I decided, you know, whether I'll be a victim for life, I come out victorious, what do I want to do? And the best part was, half the time, family don't really support you. You are on your own, right? Not all of us are fortunate to have like, yeah, I have siblings, I have everyone's there, but you are on your own, dude. So whenever you want to do something, don't think too hard. What will people think? What will people say? People will talk. Let them talk. You just move forward and do what you need to do. Can? Good. So, and then I was determined. I said, I wanted to discover what was my purpose of being. I said, I desire to redesign my life. I wanted to be a brand new me. I wanted the world to know that you can be whatever you want to be. Whatever you want to be. With faith and love. You must be happy. Because only you can make you happy. It's great if you have a partner who makes you happy, but he also got excess baggage. You have your baggages. So clear all your past, diagnose who you are. I'll share a bit about that, how, you, how I brought myself to where I am today, helping people. So this is a new paper article. She broke her spine, but not her spirit. Okay, so it's, the moral story is simple. It's okay to be a glow stick sometimes. We need to break before we... Shine, right? You know that thing where you, yeah, you know that party style. And then you shine, right? Yeah. So this is a very powerful tool. This was a, a TV interview and also a business award that I received earlier this year uh, by the Chambers of Commerce. Nice, Adesari. You like that, Adaya? I like it. And that was recently, I was in Japan uh, launching my henna art therapy, launching my book, signing just in November. I just came back like end November. And I came back because I promised Angela I was going to be speaking to you guys. So thank you guys. Yes. If not, I'll still be in Japan. So don't count your days. Make your days count. It's very important. I have some copies of my book. So I basically wrote, Turn Your Passion to Profits and Five Things I Love About Being a Woman. So basically, I teach you to appreciate yourself, respect yourself, and trust yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, nobody's going to love you. And this is not about being self, uh, I'm all about me, 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 myself and I. If you don't be founded and grounded, you cannot help the world. How many of you taken a flight before? Took a flight, aeroplane? Yes, of course, right? And then what did the lady say? Put on your oxygen mask before helping the rest of the world. Yes? So that's the same thing for you guys. Okay? So, um, so basically, just to share a bit. Uh, because I went through a lot of stuff, not a lot, I'm sure all of us had moments in our life, whatever we went through. I just want to share, how did I get to where I am today? I was strengths coached two years ago. You guys heard of Gallup Strengths Finder? The personality test, Gallup. Yeah? Okay, great. So, basically, I'm a strengths coach. How I help people is, I help them diagnose who you are. Then I help them work past your past. Because as long as you have all those 
pass. My mom said I'm stupid. I'm not good enough. My family called me sleep. They called me lazy and sleeping head, but I called myself sleeping beauty instead. So it rhymed. <laughs> it rhymed. So I called myself sleeping. So people can say whatever they want to say. Identify who you are. Desire check. Ask yourself what do you want truly. Personally, not for my children, for my mother, for my girlfriend, whatever. No, what do you want really? This was a hard knock question I had two years ago, and and I said, I don't know what I want, man. I live my life, I earn money, I travel, but I don't know. Then I was on this journey, but before that, you gotta know who you are, identify what you wanna do, uh, desire what your heart desire, and then decide. What, how you want to move forward. For me, I decided why not be a politician, join Young PAP and inspire people, or, <laughs> wrong idea, but, oh, oh, what's an option? Or be a celebrity, author, international speaker, travel the world and help people. So this was a path I decided to do. So I end my speech with this. Be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your heart on fire and be the strong soul for success you are destined to be. Thank you. Question? Do I have time for question? Yeah. Question, please. You? Question, please. Those are tough questions. Share a little bit about what it feels like to be in a really difficult moment. So perhaps relating to your accident or something else. Um, when I was in the ex, uh, the A and E on that bed, strapped up. Strapped up. Um, I. The only thing that I thought of was my mom. I said, I cannot die. I have to live for my mom. So sometimes you need to have a reason to live for maybe. But eventually it got to asking myself what was my purpose of being. And then moving from there. Identify what my purpose was and then take it from there. Question? Are you guys inspired? <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just wondering, yes. Story, yeah. Story. Yeah. yeah right. thank you. Okay. I mean, just curious. Uh, how do you pick yourselves up after leaving? About. Uh, I mean, only left with ten dollars, ten US dollars. Mm -hmm. After that, yeah. Very smart. You have to read my book. Turn your passion into profits. But what I did was, uh, really, really. Let me share with you something. A henna cone costs five dollars. You know the henna paste, the cone. It's five dollars. So I said, if I cannot draw henna because of my broken spine, I can teach it to people. So my basic workshop is about $50. My professional course is about $400 for a 12 hours lesson. And then from there, I started saving money. Same thing, how I started my uh, hijab. Hijab is the veil that I'm wearing right now. The hijab business, same thing. I started with a $200 supply, and then I triple, four, quadruple it, and then buy stocks, sell, buy stocks, sell, buy stocks and sell. I mean, buy supplies and sell. And that's how I started having, making money. And they said, you know, when you are too comfortable, you don't think how to move forward. So when you are stuck, you're like, dude, I need to think. I need to think how to get it. Yeah, so, yeah. Hey, money. And then I traveled again. I went to Jordan, Morocco, Yemen. I learned the language. I spent a lot of money, two years overseas. Not cheap. Uh, but then again, I came back. I started teaching Arabic. And, and then I realized why I started the coaching program, online coaching program, was because I wanted to do something that I could do. I could be in the Caribbeans now. I was in Japan doing my coaching program. I'm like, ha, ah, I finally found the formula. So that's why I do what I do today. You start small, start believing your $5 business. Before I went to Japan, my family said, we have half a million assets. What can your $5 business do for you? My $5 business took me to Japan last month, make me, you know, I appear on TV and radio and never under underestimate what you've got. And you all have it inside, all of you. Yes. Yes. Your most uh, low period, down period in your life after the accident. Who was your strongest supporter? And, and what was that spark that actually made you stand up on the feet again after a year? That's two questions again. <laughs> who was the supporter that I had after yeah, the accident? Okay. And what was the spark that actually caused you? The supporter sent you here. Eh? <laughs> what was the spark that made me want to get up again? Um. Well, of course, I had a very good friend who we were involved in the accident together but I broke my spine and she didn't, so she was quite cool. And we were very good friends then. Then. 
then we were very good good friends like you know yeah and um well she was there for me very helpful very useful and eventually like our frequency and vibes doesn't match anymore so we fall out very sad that was a very big breaking down point for me um it happened two years ago only and um well i said do or die yeah do or die that's why I say people can talk. People are there one day and they are not there the next day. But you are alive. You get up and do what you need to do. It's not easy. Find friends, like-minded people. A bit crazy is okay. Too crazy, don't get too close. And then, yeah, move forward. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, Sai. Thank you.